Good day everyone, it's Ronnie 28 coming at you with the New York Times Games for September 21st, as well as the custom connections uh, aspect of the video, which we'll get to at the end. Uh, today will be puzzle 1190 for Wordle, done by Tracy Bennett. Um, today's starting words will be slice and groan. So we'll start with slice and see where that gets us. So with that said, hopefully everyone's having a great day and uh, let's proceed. All right, slice. Slice in one? Nope. All right, well, S at the start isn't uh, horrible. Uh, and there's E somewhere in here, maybe two. I guess we'll see. Uh, groan seems okay. Let's try it. All right. This could be seven. Do I feel confident trying seven? I might. Um, do I go right for the kill here? Could be Sheen. Uh, Sistine? No. Oh, there's a puzzle from another day. Okay. You know what, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for the kill. Seven. Let's do it. Yes. Yeah, seven and three. Seven day, yeah, okay, perfect. All right, let's move on. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> leave on the top there. All right, uh, strands. All right, Shihara Ranasing is back. It's nice to see some different creators. I mean, Christina I is uh, fantastic. But, uh, you know, even with the custom connections, it's good to have a different creator every day just for some variety, uh, different perspectives, I guess. Um, but yeah, all these people are great. Otherwise, they would be in this position, right? They wouldn't be asked to be a puzzle creator for New York Times. So, All right, Shihara, edited by Tracy. What do you have for us today? I've got the music in me. Okay, well, that's definitely... Uh, I know it from Pitch Perfect. Um... I'm sure it's a song that's been in other things, uh, Broadway musicals and things. Okay, uh, so musicals. Um, no, I don't think it'd be musicals with music and the theme. Uh, Broadway, um, singing. This might be a tough one. I'm not uh, the most well-read or knowledgeable on Broadway or uh, musicals. Or these could be just different types of music, different musical genres. We'll see. This kind of looks like stadium. Stadium music? Hmm. Or oh, these are places where music is played, like a concert hall. Um, not facilities, but um, arenas. Venues, is it venues? Well, I see venue. No. Live venues? Alive? No. It's definitely something with venue. I see. There's no way venue is there and not the answer, or not part of the answer. Event. Okay, a, a coliseum, a stadium, um, an arena. Arena has to be in here. It is. Okay, a club. Yes, nightclub. Here's venue. Venue, no. Um, concert venue? Yes. All right. What's this? A theater? Yes. Definitely a theater. Now, are they going to spell it R E or E R? 
is the question. Uh, RE, I believe. Nope. All right, well, I tried. that British English, you know, sometimes I'm not sure. Same like center, like a C-E-N-T-R-E, -E, or is it C-E-N-T-E-R? Yeah, okay. Uh, what's this then? Um, festival, yes. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, it made sense. Felt good about it. And uh, yeah, just a bit of a misdirection there on where venue started, but uh, I got it. Got there in the end. All right, let's move on to connections. All right, puzzle four six eight Winnaloo. What do you have for us today? Real or real? Medium, impressive, exclusive, nice, rare, awful, mystic, way, well done, bloody, limited, oracle, props. Collectible and psychic. Hmm. Okay, you're an oracle, you're a psychic, you're a mystic, you're a medium. I uh, you tap into, uh, I guess, uh, the afterlife, um, predict. Uh, some might call you a hack, you know, a fake, but. Uh, yeah, someone who predicts the future or can read read what the undead are, are saying. Uh, kind of like a fortune teller, I guess. Let's go with fortune teller. Clairvoyant. Okay, you get my you get my drift. Okay. Uh, props. Well done. Impressive. Nice. Something's rare, it's limited, it's, it's exclusive, it's collectible. So way, bloody, awful and real. Way, bloody, awful and real. Okay, well I'm gonna put in the, uh, it's rare, it's limited, it's exclusive, it's collectible. This is, uh, um, uh, short in numbers, uh, Well, uh, highly desired, um, hard to get your hands on. Yeah, something of that nature. Special edition adjectives, yeah, okay. All right, so that's impressive, that's well done, that's nice, and that's and props. Props, it's like fist bump, it's impressive. Props to you, well done, nice. Um, it's way bloody. Awful and real. Okay, it could be way cool, it could be bloody cool, awful cool, and real cool. They're just descriptors of, uh, well, like enhancers. Enhancers of, um, I guess, uh, Congratulations, although this is congratulations right here. This is ways to say congratulations. And these other words are enhancers of ways to say congratulations. Like adverbs. Okay, well this is, um, way, you know, what you'd say when you're, um, you know, astounded by somebody. You're, they put on a, a great performance. Uh, you might see all these things. Great job. Yeah, okay. Okay, and then these are adverbs, I guess. Uh, they're enhancing. Uh, like, I'm going to use cool. Way cool. Bloody cool. Awful cool. Real cool. Uh, real sweet. You're awful sweet. You're bloody sweet. You're way sweet. Just enhancers, right? Um, Yeah, I'm gonna call them enhancers. 
Extremely. Okay. Yeah, enhancing. Extremely. Okay. All right. Uh, that's it for this aspect, the New York Times aspect. I'm going to move you over to the uh, customer connections aspect of the video. I'll see you there. All right, everyone, here we are back with uh, the solve of Lady A's puzzle number 20. I'll quickly go over the words here and then uh, we'll get to solving. So we have RC, Alt, Y, R, and Tab, ESC, Del, 10, U, Mug, Jolt, L, La, Mac, and Van. All right, so uh, I'm not a cola drinker, a soda drinker, a pop drinker, but uh, I did work in a grocery store and uh, I don't think we have all of these in Canada, but I do know that um, Jolt and RC are uh, types of, of cola. I think Mug is too. Mug is a root beer. And I believe Tab is also. So I'm going to start there. I think I don't think there's any other types of cola, like brand names here. Okay. So with that in mind, I also see some uh, keyboard keys. Alt, Escape, Delete, and End. I believe uh, Mac is a key to my keyboard, but maybe that's not the case. Well, it definitely will be the case for PCs. Um, y, R, U, and L. Okay, those are uh, <laughs> homophones for letters. L, U, Y, and R. Okay. And then 10, La, Mac, and Van. I'm going to see that one for last. Let's just get something off the board here. Uh, what do I think's first? Maybe these uh, homophones for uh, for letters. Homophones for letters. Alphabet letters. Letter home. That, that's purple. Okay. Jeez, I thought it was yellow. All right. Uh, RC, Jolt, Mug, and Tab. These are cola brands or soda brands, pop brands. Soda pop brands. Okay. Um, Alt and Escape and Delete um, keyboard keys. Yeah. Right. Ten La Mac and Van. Mac La. Okay, Van. Van is short for. Shortened to Vancouver, or Vancouver shortened to Van, I should say. LA is short for Los Angeles. Mac. Maybe it's, it's got to be a place on the world called MacArthur or. Um, I don't know, we even have places like that in Canada. Um, just not too far away from me. Or mix something or max something and then 10 what 10 be short form for in uh, world cities Tenerife I don't think they call Tenerife 10 hey let's go to 10 for the weekend I can't see that okay, the, hey, Lady A with blue I, I'm convinced Lady A makes per blue harder than purple I think that's just her MO. Mac. Van. Okay, this may seem really obscure, 
But uh, knowing Lady A, she used to have her name uh, Andrea Van Van something. So I'm thinking maybe her last name starts with Van. So there's a lot of Vans in, in uh, Dutch last names. Uh, Van Nistelrooy, uh, Van Der Vaart, um, Van Dyke. Van Dyke is very, uh, <laughs> very popular. Uh, and there's also another uh, Dutch uh, start to last names, Ten. Um, the current Manchester United manager is Eric Ten Hag. Um, Mac, there's a lot of Macs, uh, Scottish people. Some of the Scottish subscribers may, uh, may catch this. And I think La. La. Yeah, I got three quarters there. I don't know, if, if this is the case, I think uh, she, she may be tapping into the, uh, the Dutch uh, Orania part of, uh, of my channel. Because the two of them are Dutch uh, prefixes to last names, or starts of Dutch last names. Okay, I'm going to go for it. I think, uh, I think Lady A has done something here. Okay, are these uh, starts of last names? Surname prefixes, okay. All right, I, I, I love that category, Lady A. That's awesome. I adore that so much. That's, that's the best. That's the best. That's outstanding. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, yeah, let's look at the, uh, the, st the stats here. Um, perfect game rate, 24%. Average guesses all 8. Wow! It's been played 77 times. 35% of people take... Eight plus guesses. Lady A, this is a tough one. <laughs> All right. Oh, I, I don't normally check the stats, but I felt like this one uh, uh, was oh, very difficult. Now, keep in mind, I'm recording this on Sunday, uh, September 15th. So this is before any of you have done this puzzle. Okay? So this... I. I this isn't any indication of how well you did on this puzzle. This is before, well before you're seeing this puzzle, okay? So I think I'm safe to, uh, to share these stats. All right, uh, that's it for today. I don't have any previews um, because I'm recording so far in advance. Maybe by tomorrow's video, um, because I'll maybe take a few days off recording, I'll have something. But uh, for right now, we'll just leave it uh, like this. Hopefully you enjoyed the uh, custom connections puzzle. I sure did. Uh, and you enjoyed the New York Times uh, Portal Strands and Connections. And I will catch you tomorrow for more uh, puzzling adventures, more puzzling fun. Have a great day.